Do you need to speak Spanish in Spain? Um, I'll tell you now, I've traveled to many countries, um, as far as east as the Philippines, um, Hong Kong, all over the Middle East. Um, and the one place I would honestly say that people spoke the least English was Spain. <laughs> Um, even in the tourist space, places, it's got the lowest amount of people I've ever seen speak uh, English. And it's not that I'm ignorant of learning new languages. The fact is, they're tourist places. They should be speaking Dutch, German, English, be because that's, <laughs> that's the market they're dealing with. But a lot of time they don't. Um, even college graduates don't have good English um, compared to other European countries. So it's something you really, really need to um, adapt to. Um, okay, you can sit off the reservation in one of the, what I'd call the expat villages where nearly everybody around you is British or Dutch or depending where you're living. Because um, you'll find that there'll be um, the restaurants are uh, foreign owned, the pubs are um, foreign owned, um, which means that the people that own them are the same types of people you are, you know, language wise and from the same country. So you don't have to adapt. But the problem with that is when you have things like a blown out tire or um, have to get some building work, you really should at least know some Spanish. But also for me, you know, I don't pick up languages easily, but after being in Spain last week, I really, really need to cram the language and learn it fast. Now, the, the, the other thing is, um, educated people, um, may actually want to practice their English on you because it'll be it's not going to be good English but they're aware of that but they would want to speak in English which doesn't help you trying to learn Spanish but can help you make new friends uh, now everything in Spain is written in Spanish be it the signboards the labels on food um, all the important documentation it's all Spanish. There's no way getting around it. All there, although there is um, some cheap language classes available. Um, and one of the most famous adult ones out there is the Escola Oficial de Idiomas, which I think I pronounced wrong. But that's something for um, if you're wanting to learn Spanish at a higher level. For me, I recommend trying to uh, learn from your neighbors, get some of those audio books. Um, I put them on in the car when I'm driving and luckily I'm going to be working mainly from home for the next few weeks which means I can't really switch them on in the car and just sit in there talking to myself going through the pronunciation and things. Um, but you really, really need to learn Spanish. Um, I can't emphasize it enough, but I know from last week's experiences, I would have done it so much better actually knew more words. Because a lot of times nobody there can communicate for you. Um, if you're new to the country, it's gonna be 10 times harder. If you wanna work in the country, it's gonna be near impossible unless you actually work where there's a lot of foreigners and they just want somebody that, to engage with the foreigners on their behalf. But even then, you still need to know what the other people around you are talking about. So I, I strongly um, recommend getting some audiobooks. And the reason I say audiobooks over written books is the pronunciation is something that is um, only really understood from the people that speak Spanish because Spanish is one of those um, one of those languages I find sounds different to the way it's written. Um, but it could be I'm more of a person that absorbs it more of a hear it rather than see it. Um, because the written words don't really um, stand out to me. 
I do pretty well with diagrams and stuff because, but obviously I can't do that with languages, but drawings and things for my type of work, I remember them for years. Um, but words don't really absorb it because they're flat, but trying to, trying to say how much is a bottle of wine or uh, how far is the garage and stuff like that, you, you know, you start with a few phrases and just build on it but you will need to learn to speak Spanish. There's no getting away from it. And I recommend trying to get in with a, a group of people already um, learning as well, because the fastest way to learn something is as a group. You Some days you don't feel like it, but as a group, somebody kicks you up the backside, says, come on, we gotta go, You know, we got our language class today, blah, blah, blah. I recommend it. You really need to do it if you're serious about moving to Spain.